So I have this trait where I get fixated and I put all my effort into like and all my resources into learning one topic. I'll randomly just be fascinated by leaves and I'll spend like 10 hours, okay 10 hours is it's a bit of an exaggeration but i'll spend a lot of time researching that thing and for the last few weeks that thing for me has been testosterone and how i can increase my own levels i'm in this group chat with a few of my friends there's about 10 of us and i remember last week i sent a message on our group chat talking about how i wanted to increase my testosterone levels by a lot and it's fair to say that idea wasn't met with much enthusiasm and i remember one of the replies i got on the group was that your body produces as much testosterone as it needs and that is true, that is true, our body will produce what it needs. But the fact that we have such low testosterone levels is an alarming thing. I think the average levels today, I don't know, I don't know, I think they're like 400 to like 700 nanograms per deciliter. Back in the day, about 20, 30 years ago, they were exponentially higher. Well, not exponentially higher, they were like double. So it's quite alarming that we have lifestyles where our bodies don't need that much testosterone. And to say that, ah, oh, you're fine, your body produces as much testosterone as it needs. Yes, that is right. But the fact that we need such little testosterone is a problem. We spend too much time sitting down. We spend too much time at our computers, lying in bed, watching Netflix, not being active. We weren't made to be sitting around. We weren't made to be watching Netflix, 10 hours of Netflix a day. We weren't made to be reading or studying for 10 hours a day. We were made to be active, to be walking around, to be exercising every day. And another response that I got from the group was that I was weird for caring about my testosterone levels. The only response I had to that is like, what's wrong with wanting to increase your testosterone levels? I truly believe that as a man, your testosterone levels are the most important thing. The most important thing. Obviously, the other hormones, dopamine, cortisol, epinephrine, like, obviously, there are a lot of hormones. Those ones are important. I'm not saying they're important, but your testosterone levels are extremely important and you should guard those with your life. There's this notion that, ah, your body produces as much testosterone as it needs. And one of my close friends actually said this. I'm, I'm not even throwing shade. I don't know if you're watching Carl, but I love you. He said that your body produces as much testosterone as it needs, so you're probably fine as you are. And that's something that I don't like, the notion that you're fine as you are. And I feel like saying that it's like a double-edged sword. There's a good side that no one will feel like they're not enough or no one will feel like they're unworthy. But the bad side is people stay as they are. Most people aren't good enough. I'm not good enough. Like I'm not even I'm not even gonna lie to you. When I say most people, I'm talking about myself. We aren't improving enough. We aren't focusing on our development. We don't have long-term mindsets. We don't have goals for the future. So to stay as we are is quite destructive. And I think it's bad advice. I haven't gotten my levels checked, but I probably will get them checked within the next week and I'll update you as to what I get. But in the meantime, before I get tested, I'm not going to sit on my laurels. I'm not going to just say, ah, I'll tackle the problem once I get tested and once I know exactly what my levels are. See, after doing some research and after establishing the bro science opinion that testosterone is the most important hormone for a man, I have come to some conclusions. Well, I haven't come to some conclusions. I've just found some research and found some information. So now that we have established that testosterone is the most important hormone in your body, now we have to find ways to increase that and increase it in a healthy way. Most of the people watching this, you're going to be like 19, 18 teenagers. There's no point of going on TRT. There's no point of going on these non-natural thing, unnatural-ish, on these unnatural things. The best way for us to increase our testosterone levels is through the natural means. But before you even think about increasing your testosterone, why, why, why would one need to increase the testosterone? The first reason is that it increases your energy. As your levels of testosterone increase, your energy will increase as well. The second reason, and which is extremely important for men, is that as your testosterone increases, so does your competitiveness, so does your ambition, your aggressiveness. And obviously, now that I've said aggression, you'll be like, ah, oh, no, no, aggression isn't good, aggression isn't good. Yes, sometimes aggression isn't, isn't good. But the aggression I'm talking about here is the will to win, the will to beat all your competitors, and your competitors are probably other men. The will to assert yourself, to not be dominated by other people. There's nothing wrong with wanting to stand up for yourself, with being aggressive. If you know what you want in life, and you should know what you want, or what you want from the next year or so, be aggressive. Go after it relentlessly. Chase after it. Because you don't win in life by being passive. You don't win in life by being timid. You have to penetrate the world. You have to be aggressive. If you're not aggressive, you won't get anything out of life. Another benefit of increasing your testosterone is that it will increase your strength. And for guys, this is especially important. I know you're going to the gym, you want to hit new PR, so why not Why not naturally increase your strength? Like increasing your testosterone. It's a win-win. Another benefit of increasing your testosterone is like you have a heightened mood. 
I'm not gonna go into this, but just trust me. Trust me, your mood will be much better. But the last one is that it will increase your, your sex drive. And that's very good because you can channel that energy into your work. Sexual energy is extremely important. It's not supposed to be dissipated. There's this, there's this notion that whenever you feel lust, whenever you feel, I don't know, you see someone, you're just like, ah, right, dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. It's like, when you feel those emotions, there's energy within your body. That energy is powerful. That energy gives life. So what we need to do is utilize that energy. And if you're still unconvinced about why you should increase your testosterone, I'm just going to tell you something. And you may not believe it and you won't even see the correlation. But as a man, if you want to be successful, the one key fits all thing or the silver bullet is increasing your testosterone. Look at all the successful men. And you might be thinking of like Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, rest in peace. You might be thinking of all these guys and you're like, ah, oh, these weren't alpha males, these, these weren't strong, big men. But they were ambitious, they were competitive, they were aggressive with what they wanted. And they never settled, they never let anyone dominate over them. And fair enough, they weren't the typical high testosterone male. But I can guarantee you that they had above average testosterone levels, at least. They probably were raging with testosterone. These guys were cutthroat. I'm sure if you work at Elon Musk company, if you work at Facebook, Tesla, all these places at Apple, and Steve Jobs was still there. They were cutthroat. I promise you that if you made a mistake, you would have known and you probably would have been fired. So I can assure you that as a male, it is in your best interest that you increase your testosterone levels and that you wash them every year. You just monitor your levels, get tested regularly. So now that we've established why you need to increase your testosterone, so now that we've established why you need to increase your testosterone, the next obvious question is how? So there's a lot of advice that I could give you for this, but I'm just going to give you the the five most beneficial things that I've found. So the first one is lifting weights. And when you're lifting weights, you want to do compound lifts that involve a lot of muscle groups because your body will need that testosterone to repair your muscles. The second thing is that you're going to need to have a healthy diet. And in a healthy diet, you need to... TJ! TJ! And in this healthy diet, you're going to need to have a lot of water. You're going to need to have a lot of vegetables, a lot, a lot of protein. And get this one here. You're going to need to have fat. And not like like you know unhealthy fat from like i don't know cooking oil you need healthy fats so the source of these healthy fats is like salmon avocado nuts nuts are like the cheapest version of like where you can get these healthy fats or you can get omega-3 supplements those come with a lot of fish oils and those are like very good fats for you and the tricky thing with diet is that there are a lot of things that you're going to need to avoid. After doing research, I was honestly surprised to see how many things have ingredients that lower your testosterone level. I hate to say it, but it's extremely hard to avoid. But anyways, the things that lower your testosterone, stay away from soya. Many of the oils that are made, like you know the cheap oils, they have soya in them. Stay away from vegetable and, and seed oils. Those things, they're terrible. Literally cancer in a bottle. And stay away from processed foods. I don't even need to explain processed foods. Processed foods are terrible for you in every single way. Every single way. Processed foods, they're not foods, it's just junk. It's just poison because it's not making you stronger, healthier, fitter. It's just doing the opposite. So it's poison. And then we need vitamin D. Vitamin D can come from, like you can get it from supplements. There's some foods where you can get it from. But the main source of your vitamin D should be the sun. Every morning you should go out and stand in the sun for like five to 10 minutes. I promise you that will improve your mood. The thing with vitamin D is it does something, it has something that allows your body to increase the testosterone production. But it's in your best interest that you go out every morning, look in the sun, probably spend about 30 minutes in the sun every day. And don't just open your curtains, don't just look at the sun through the window you have to go outside and you have to feel the sun rays on your skin the next thing is your mindset let's say you go get tested and you see that your testosterone levels are 324 nanograms per deciliter and then now you say i have low testosterone that is the worst thing that you can do for yourself as you're saying that you have low testosterone your brain is being wired to focus and to notice the symptoms of low testosterone so every time you notice a symptom of low testosterone, it reinforces the belief that you have low testosterone. And we all know the placebo effect. Once you believe something, it's game over. So in this case, the placebo effect would be your worst enemy. It would be enforcing that low testosterone and it will keep you down. On the other hand, let's say you get 324. But if you tell yourself that, no, I don't agree with this, I have high testosterone. Even though your levels will still be there, the placebo effect will now be your best friend. Whenever you have a symptom of high testosterone, you always notice that. And because you notice it, it's going to reinforce your belief of having high testosterone. And look, the placebo effect is a wonderful thing. It's, I don't even understand it. I don't think scientists understand it. But the placebo effect can be your best friend in life. So just believe you have high testosterone. 
Act like you have high testosterone. Pretend. Flipping, walk through a room like you're the alpha male. Like, you know Conor McGregor's walk, that thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a gif on the screen. That Conor McGregor walk. Just do that in your room. I promise you, you feel much better when you do that. And that's just gonna increase your testosterone. This is bro science. I know it's bro science. But bro science works. So trust it. <laughs> and then the last thing is sleep. This one is pr pr TJ! TJ! This one is self-explanatory. If you don't sleep enough, your body's not going to produce much of anything but probably cortisol. See, the thing is, to optimize your testosterone levels, you're going to need 8 hours of sleep. And you, most people will just be like, ah, oh, okay, I need 8 hours to sleep. So they will say, okay, I'm going to sleep from 9 p.m. up until 5 a.m. That's only 8 hours in bed. We don't need 8 hours in bed, we need 8 hours of sleep. Because look, the moment you get in bed, do you fall asleep after 30 seconds now? You don't. And you'll probably say, oh, once I fall asleep, I'm asleep for the rest of the night. No, you're not. I used to think this. I used to think that I slept like a baby until I started tracking my sleep. I think last night, yeah, I'm, the screenshot is here. As you can see, I was asleep or in bed for like 7 hours and 46 minutes. But I was only asleep for 5 hours and 55 hours. And you may say, ah, Takura, you don't sleep, or I don't sleep, or I want you to track. Track yourself, do it for a week and see how well you sleep. Anyways, that's it for today's video. You better go and increase your testosterone, because I promise you, there's, not, there's no bad that can come from it.